I was gonna do an honest review of SimCity, but I think now there really isn't any point to it. It's fucking SimCity. You know what you're getting. You build a city, whoop de shit. You've played this before, it's nothing new. Should you buy it for $60 through Origin? Hell no. The controversy surrounding EA's decision to have always online digital rights management has been well documented, and peaked this weekend when coders discovered that the game's offline playtime is limited by a single line of code that kicks players out of their game after 20 minutes of offline play. When commented out, this single line of code allowed players to play offline indefinitely. That's interesting, since EA and Maxis have repeatedly taken a hardline stance that the game requires an online connection to handle elements of gameplay and that, quote, it wouldn't be possible to make the game offline without a significant amount of engineering work by our team, end quote. In essence, we were lied to, and not just by some community guy or marketing schlub, but by the general manager of Maxis. I've read a number of interviews with and stories about Lucy Bradshaw, the GM at Maxis, about how the SimCity situation was handled. The quote that stands out for me is from an EA News blog post from Bradshaw, stating, Could we have built a subset offline mode? Yes. But we rejected that idea, because it didn't fit with our vision. We did not focus on the single city in isolation that we have delivered in past SimCities. We recognize that there are fans, people who love the original SimCity, who want that. But we are also hearing from thousands of people who are playing across regions, trading, communicating, and loving the always connected functionality. My stance on the matter is this. I like SimCity, but I hate social interaction. You should have seen the scowl on my face when I read that. I feel alienated, because instead of making a game with everyone in mind, Maxis claims to have made a game for a certain subset of people who crave online interaction. I don't want an MMO. I don't want people poking their nose into my city. I certainly don't want to ask for a real human being for help with my game. I'm fine on my own. It's fine if those features were optional, but for them to literally say that my city will struggle to thrive unless I use these features means that they're taking the fun out of it for me. Social interactions make me nervous. How the fuck am I supposed to have any fun if you're forcing me into uncomfortable situations? I didn't buy the game for the online anything in this game. I bought it to build a damn city. Basically what I heard was, we don't want to make a game for the widest possible audience. This game was not made for fans of SimCity, which sounds like the highest order of bullshit to me. While I'm sure piracy is the number one reason for the always online gimmick, how about coming out and saying that? Every time I hear something about how the servers calculate game data, or how it's required because cloud saving, or whatever, I don't feel like Maxis is being honest and genuine. I feel like I'm getting marketing doublespeak through the filter of some random person who works at the studio, mainly because as a general computer user with some degree of intelligence, my first thought was, eh, that probably isn't true. And now my suspicions have been confirmed in this regard since then by one single line of code. If Maxis would have said at the beginning, this is how we made it, because EA wanted it, and they will not let us change it. I could accept that. I'd hate EA a little bit more than I already do, but I could accept it. If they were to say, this is how we made it, because piracy is really too big of an issue, and we can't afford to lose any revenue after the massive amounts of hard work, effort, and money that was spent making this wonderful product, that would be an infinitely better answer than what we got. At least it would be somewhat truthful. But now that we know that A, it's possible for offline play, and B, it requires the removal of one single line of code that can be commented out with almost no effort, I'm a bit pissed off. Not so much because they lied, but that they thought we would just magically believe it, or that we were stupid enough to. I'm pretty sure there's some marketing guy or suit somewhere going, you can't give them the truth, they'll flip, but it's kinda too late. The idea that EA didn't expect that coders, hackers, and enthusiasts would take apart their game and get to the code somehow is bold and absurd. It's a PC game for Christ's sakes. There are skilled pirates out there who crack games regularly, and you didn't expect that this was coming? Come on. On the flip side, I'm sure that within Maxis there is a lot of face palming. There is a lot on the inside that we just don't know and cannot prove due to non-disclosure agreements, marketing spin and damage control, corporate overlords putting their foot down. While it seems ridiculous and perhaps far-fetched, perhaps this is just EA being EA. To the trained eye, this is what it looks like when you want a studio closed. Drive their product into the ground on purpose, absorb the properties and close the studio to never have those properties see the light of day. The only difference is that Maxis has been an EA stable for what seems like forever, and traditionally EA doesn't crush a studio until right after they acquire it, like they did with Pandemic, Origin Systems, and Mythic. So this scenario seems unlikely, given that The Sims does really well for EA on a consistent basis. So then what the hell is going on? 
Truthfully, I think EA just wants the online only as a form of DRM to combat piracy, while simultaneously pimping its origin distribution service. The problem is twofold. One, they haven't expressly said this, which they should have done in the first fucking place if they wanted this to go smoothly, which just goes to show they really, really don't understand their audience. And two, nobody likes Origin, and nobody wants to use Origin. It's really nice that Origin has other third-party titles on it, but those titles are also on Steam, where the majority of my digital library rests. We don't need multiple services. Really, the only thing Origin does for us is keep EA games from the rest of our libraries, which really isn't that big of a loss, considering EA's games continue to spiral downwards in quality, especially with the handling of scenarios like this, but I digress. There's also the remote possibility that some hip designer out there wanted to make a game where multiple cities from different users interact with each other through connectivity online. And then some executive somewhere nicks the idea of offline city building because they don't give a shit about the people who love the last eight SimCity games. Those are the users that are gonna buy it anyway. They're after that Sims money from casual users that played The Sims Atlantis Underwater Blitzball Dog Fashion Show Expansion Pack 4 Vampire Edition. If there's one thing I can say about SimCity is that it's a functional online game, but not much better than any other city simulation game. I would, however, not recommend purchasing this game for any price. They say we vote with our wallets, so go buy some other city game and let EA know this type of behavior is definitely not encouraged.